What's up guys? Welcome to lesson 6-1 ratios. Let's do it. So here we got 16 pens to 10 pencils. Express ratio as a fraction. Anytime we do something like this, right? We could, we could express it just like this, but they want us to express it as a fraction. And it's cool because fractions, that's what they are. They really are ratios. So the way we do that is we can do it one way, however we want, but we're gonna set it up in the same order. So we put the first one usually on top, 16 over 10. Now, what do we do with an improper fraction like this? We reduce it. Same thing with a ratio. We divide both by two, divide both by two, and we get six over five, and that's our ratio of pens, pens to pencils, six pens to every five pencils. Next, on a full-size piano, there are 36 black keys and 52 white keys. Express the ratio of black keys to white keys as a fraction in simplest form and explain its meaning. So we'll talk about the meaning in a second. Again, we start off the same way, just like a fraction, 36 to 52. And how do we reduce this? We're gonna divide again both of these by two. Okay, divide both by two. Actually, we, do, we can divide both by four, uh, but we'll start with two. It doesn't matter, you can kind of go in any order you want. You'll still get to the same place. So that becomes 18 over 26. And we can see again, these are both divisible by two. So we do that again and it becomes nine over 13. What does that mean? It means that, and this is simplest form now, it means that for every nine black keys on a piano, there will be 13 white keys. And then you'll have another nine black keys, there'll be another 13 white keys. So that's, that's basically what it means. And I think that essentially it's almost like for, for those 13 white keys, what is that? That would be going from like C to the next C, maybe almost two octaves, something like that within that realm, within that range, you'll have that many white keys and as well as that many black keys. Okay, let's go to number 24. So number 24, a cell phone store displayed the phone at the right down here on a poster. The length of the phone on the poster is three feet, four inches. Write a ratio comparing the length of the actual cell phone to the length of the cell phone on the poster as a fraction in simplest form. So again, we've got four inches and this actual poster is three feet, four inches. First of all, if we're gonna have a ratio comparing them, they need to be all in the same units. So we're either gonna convert both to feet or this one to inches completely. Try easier since this wasn't one is in inches to make this one in inches. So three feet, four inches. So three feet is going to be three times 12 inches, right? Cause there's 12 inches in one foot, 24 inches in two feet, and of course, 36 inches in three feet, plus this four inches, this little four inches right there. Guess what? We got 40 inches. That's the size of the poster. Our ratio would be, does it want it as a fraction? As a fraction, so our ratio, would be four, oops, it kind of looks like it here. Didn't mean to do that. This is actually a, an addition problem. It's four over 40, and we reduce it by dividing the top and the bottom by four, and we get one tenth, and done. 